welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. You wanna say hi, Pooper? Say hello to everyone. But today is a gross and rainy day outside, so we're just gonna be hanging around at the house, maybe cooking some food and doing some cleaning. So that is what is on the agenda today. Cooper is desperately trying to eat my camera. Who is that? So without further ado, let's get Vlogmas Day 19 started. And just like that, our yard is going underwater for the third time in the past couple of weeks. Great, ooh, the wind's picking up. All right, come inside, Bobo, come in, come on. Let's go. Oh man, the rain is coming down right now. Look at that. If this keeps up, my yard is definitely going to be underwater once again. All right, y'all, it is breakfast time and I am gonna make myself a English muffin breakfast sandwich. These are the 100 calorie multi-grain English muffins that I'm using. Got some ham, some sharp cheddar cheese, an avocado, I'm probably gonna use half of this, and some eggs. Let's get to making it. For breakfast I made two open-faced English muffin egg sandwiches with a little bit of everything bagel seasoning on there. These are gonna be absolutely delicious. Cooper has been stealing stuff from the bottom shelf of my little bookcase over there all day long. He's got some man sports workout bands. He dragged out a jump rope earlier. He dragged out another uh, workout band and some more workout bands. I <laughs> just have a little collection of everything he's trying to drag out of my office today. And he's back at it again, stealing some more workout equipment that I have on that bottom shelf. <laughs> Cooper, what are you going to do with the booty bands that are in that bag? Are you are you trying to tighten up your booty? <laughs> he's like, if I don't look at her, she won't know that I have this. Oh my god, is he just going to nap with it now? <laughs> oh my god, y'all, this dog. This cracks me up. Well guys, after all that rain this morning, we once again have some waterfront property out here. I'm out here just investigating. I got my rain boots on and it's pretty deep. It's, you know, a couple inches deep out here. But the thing is, see when it rains like this, literally all of the property in our side yard goes underwater. So I have been wanting to build a chicken coop, but this is the reason that I'm struggling. Everything is underwater. That is my only struggle with building a chicken coop that I want so badly. 
Look at these two boys watching me from the window, wondering what the heck am I doing wandering out in the yard. Oh, they're just so cute. They're so cute. Oh, Cooper's doing an aru. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's cows in our backyard. I haven't seen them in like two weeks in our backyard. No, y'all stay inside because y'all are going to try and eat them. <gasps> Look at the moo moos. Hi guys, I missed y'all. Can I come over here and say hello? Hey man, what's up? What's going on? Ooh. Is she coming to say hello? Hey girl. Oh my God, is this the best day ever? Is this gonna be the best day ever? Oh my God, is she gonna come and say hello? Hey girl. <gasps> hey. Hey girl, come here. Can I scratch you? Can I give you scratches? I know y'all love scratches. My cows love some scratches. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Cows love, love, love to be scratched. Oh my gosh. This is the best day ever. Oh, I get cow kisses and cow scratches. Yes. <laughs> Look at that tongue. No. Hey there, little baby. Hey there, guys. Look at them all. The best day ever. The cows, I haven't seen y'all in a couple weeks, and now you show up and I get cow lovings. What a day. See that guy? That's the bull right there. Look, I got Cody to come out here and scratch the cows. Oh, look at that. Or touch her nose and she'll lick you and you can feel her tongue. Oh, yeah. I thought you would like that. Isn't she cute? Man, it's only taken us like eight months to be able to pet you. Let's see. Let's see here. Lick me. <laughs> Sitting on the tree. I know. I wish I had some cow treats. Maybe you'll start coming to me now. You're so cute. A really bad habit I have, especially when I'm stressed, is ripping the skin off of my fingernails. And over the past couple of weeks, it has been very badly with all the craziness going on in my life. So to kind of combat that, I'm about to glue on some of my favorite little kiss nails. This is the Everlasting French in the real short length because I don't like nails that have length but it just makes it harder for me to pick at my own skin. So we're gonna glue on some nails onto these fingers real quick. Let's do it. And my nails are done. My little $5 glue on nails doesn't get much better than this, but I love these things so darn much. They're cheap, they last like seven to nine days normally, and I don't have to go to a nail salon and pay, you know, 40, 50 bucks for this same look. So, very happy. I think I'm about to go eat a snack because I am going to be making some turkey enchilada soup for dinner, but I don't want to eat a big meal for lunch because I'm making soup. So let's go to the kitchen and find something for a snack. I just realized I'm actually gonna make this soup real soon because it's actually almost dinner time. So I am just going to try out this new orange vanilla carb master yogurt from Kroger. Let's see if it's any good. Tastes like a creamsicle. Yum. 10 out of 10. Will buy again. You twitchy? Why are you so twitchy? So twitchy? Yeah. Hey, Bo. You twitchy? Yeah. You twitchy? You're so weird. <laughs> Bo, Bo, why are you twitchy boy? Bo has done the twitch when he gets excited or wants something since he was a puppy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am very proud of myself because I just took some time to go through these drawers behind me that hold a lot of my leggings. I just had no more space in these drawers. They wouldn't shut. So I knew it was time to sort through them and get rid of anything that I don't wear. So I'm very proud of myself. I got rid of two big stacks of leggings 
And I'm thinking of creating a Poshmark to try and sell some of this stuff to y'all for super cheap because there is still so much life left in a lot of these clothes. So let me show you what I did. So I have a little bit of a black legging obsession. I have an entire drawer dedicated to black leggings, but I love my black leggings. I wear them all the time. So I just could not really part with any of these because I just love to wear black leggings. And here is my drawer of colorful leggings. Oh, and I also sorted through my sports bras and found a ton of them that I just don't wear or fit into. So I pulled those out as well because I have way too many sports bras. So yay, we're starting some organization in this house because it's something that has needed to be done for quite a while. Hey guys, it is dinner time and the recipe I am going to be cooking tonight is this skinny turkey enchilada soup that I got from the blog, the Salty Marshmallow. I found it on Pinterest. It looks really good. It had good reviews. So that's what we are going to throw together tonight. So this is pretty simple to throw together. Basically, you cook the turkey, then you add everything in, let it simmer for about half an hour, and it's ready to go. So, Let's get started. I'm gonna add a pound of ground turkey into my pot. I'm feeling lazy and don't want to dice up an onion, so I'm gonna use this seasoning blend instead. I figured all I could do is add a little bit more flavor, so I'm just gonna add some of that into here. Sure, that'll work. Next up, some minced garlic. A packet of taco seasoning and some salt and pepper. Now I'm just gonna cook this until the meat is cooked all the way through. My turkey is cooked, so now let's start assembling this soup. I'm gonna add in two cups of chicken broth. I'm just gonna measure out half of this container. I don't feel like pulling out a measuring cup. That should be about two cups. Now I'm adding in three 10 ounce cans of green enchilada sauce. Two cans of small white beans. Fire roasted rotel. About half of a cup of salsa verde. And lastly, some frozen corn. Now I am just gonna stir this up and bring it to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer for 30 minutes. See y'all then. So the taco soup is done. I ended up adding a can of black beans out of the pantry into the soup as well. But I ran some over to my mom as soon as it was done. And now I just got back and I made myself a bowl of soup. I added a little cheese, a little sour cream, and I am excited to dig in. Cody said it was amazing. My mom said it was amazing. Now it's time for me to eat. This jacket I have on is called The Comfy. And it's truly the most amazing thing I've ever put on in my life. It's kind of like a hoodie blanket combo. It's so large, it's so comfy and soft. Ooh! <laughs> my mom actually got this for me for Christmas last year. And when I was shopping in my room at their house the other day, because I still have a lot of junk in their house in my old room. That's a video for another day. We're gonna do a whole room clean out because I know they'd love some space back. But I found this over there. I'd forgotten about it and it is so comfy. Yeah, just thought I'd share because it's so comfy. Oh, I need some sleep. Well, I don't think I ever told y'all earlier, but that enchilada soup that I made was delicious. We all enjoyed it with that little bit of sour cream, that cheese on it, Mwah. chef's kiss. So easy, so delicious. But it is now 11.49 p.m. and I think I am going to go ahead and get ready to go to bed. I have a lot of stuff I've got to do tomorrow, so it is time to wind on down and go crawl in bed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye guys.